In this inspiring and honest memoir, the author takes readers through her step-by-step -step approach to breaking various barriers she has faced in her life, overcoming financial constraints, educational and physical barriers, illness and imposed syndrome. Shipuka was eventually appointed chairperson of Namfisa, the regulatory and supervisory body over non-banging financial institutions. The process of writing the book was about three years. It started off in 2020, during our national lockdown. And during the time, I actually wrote four chapters of the book. And then I parked it until I had a meeting with Flon. So the whole process actually was about three years. And it initially started off as a religious book. And I subsequently changed it as a memoir because I just thought it would be easier to write my own story first, you know. And um, the writing process was long, but it was also emotionally and mentally was it also very draining. It was very taxing on me for a number of reasons. It was a reflective process. And I was forced to think throughout writing this book. I also had to relive my past, you know, all the good as well as the bad that came with it. And it required transparency and vulnerability which is something I did not anticipate at the time that I started to write the book. But it was important for me to bring in the transparency and the vulnerability because that's what made the book relatable, but also for the book to, re to resonate with people. And through that, I believe that as the author, I was also breaking barriers between myself and the readers. Breaking Barriers is her second book, having published her first, titled the 30-day self-confidence journal in 2021. The book sold 560 copies over the period of a year. Breaking Barriers was published last year and has sold 500 copies since. So the only thing that I really wanted to do was to use my voice to give hope to somebody, to motivate somebody, to inspire somebody, and hopefully transform somebody through this book. With passion and purpose, Shipuka has developed specialized courses assisting companies and hundreds of individuals to overcome their barriers to success. I started in the financial sector, there was none of that. There weren't black female sponsors. Because that's what you literally are. Because I know it's not that easy to get that kind of funding, but I also know, Estelle, you're about excellence, and tonight is about excellence. And I'm not genderizing it. I think men and women can learn a lot from you. And we must stop this thing of only wanting to be mentored by a man if I'm male and by a woman if I'm female. Risk management, there's nothing female about risk management. There's nothing male about it. It's a skill, it's a talent. The book serves as a coaching tool for anyone aiming to break barriers and who want to see a better version of themselves emerge.